Hey, Grasshopper, it's RJ Red and the Black Belt Bots, and today we are going to answer one question, and that question is, how long does it take for care and feeding of a bot? Now, clients ask me this all the time. They want to know, of course, how much time it's going to take to really do this thing right, and I have two answers for that question. One, non-negotiable, 20 minutes a day. 20 minutes a day, every day, maybe you could take a weekend off if your bot isn't sending messages on the weekend, but you are going to want to get into that every day. And here's what I do. I check the live chat first. This is in many chat. I check live chat first. I want to know what conversations my bot is having for with people. And I want to know which conversations that I need to go pick up that I need to go take a hold of and start creating from me personally instead of my bot. That's to me what the point of a bot is to start conversations online and then take them off, take the right conversations, the ones that are ripe for the picking, so to speak, and bring them offline and talk to them personally. So I go to the live chat every day. I check my conversations. I see what's going on, what people are responding to, how they're responding, what people are not responding to. This is all good information. And then I go and check my different sequences, see if everything is running co correctly, see what the click-through rates are, see you know how many people are signing up for that webinar, that phone call, that challenge, whatever it is that I'm doing. That usually takes about 10 to 20 minutes a day, I would say, with my favorite beverage. And whatever kind of bot you have, that's the kind of time commitment to make it run right and give you the results that you want. Now, some people are totally fine with having one sequence, maybe two in their bots, uh, not very much more than that, keeping things low key. You can manage that in 20 minutes a day. Occasionally, something will happen in many chat, some new feature will occur, and you'll want to add that in. That's totally fine. Great stuff, 20 minutes a day, that's what it's going to take. But if you want to create a community, a thriving community that is always attuned to what you might have to say, then it's going to take a little bit more than 20 minutes a day. What I tell people is that that is a four-hour commitment. How often you make that commitment is up to you. It depends on how much you want to grow your, the, your messenger bot. If you want to grow by adding sequences, adding broadcasts, uh, adding different growth tools, different entry points into your messenger bot, that's more likely going to be a weekly or a bi-weekly four-hour shot. Um, if it's a little less, if you want it to be a little less robust than that, uh, then you can do a four-hour month maintenance. But that is the kind of stuff that really, uh, that, that's the kind of time that it takes to really do things well, to really know what is going on at all times, and to be able to respond to that quickly, and also be able to respond to changes that ManyChat makes. Those people, I tell you, over-caffeinated, maybe. They make a lot of changes. They've made some sweet surprises just this week. I am on top of that because I want to put everything relevant into my bot so that I can share that with other people. Facebook makes changes as well, darlings. You know uh, they're out there making changes right now. Uh, probably stuff we'll never even know about. So keeping up with those changes, too, is really, really important. Uh, the four hours, what I do is I write sequences. I write broadcasts. Uh, I've already done my checking to see what's working, and I've made my list of things that I'd like to change. I get to those edits during my four hours of time. I personally do it every week. Why? Because I'm a professional bot maker. I need to have my stuff run in tip top to be able to attract new clients to myself. That may not be your situation at all. You may need to, uh, you, you may want to just do a four hour shot once a month. But as long as you are 
uh, as long as you are writing new sequences, editing stuff that has gotten a little bit old, uh, writing new broadcasts, that's what I, that's what to do with that four hour shot. Now, stuff, again, you don't have to add different things to your bot, but there are so many different things that you can add. It's like an all day carnival. Seriously. Uh, it is like, you're tired of this thing? Go to this thing. Uh, this is, this is a community that wants to hear from you and they want to hear from you one on one. Take advantage of this by doing the broadcasts. Later on, uh, later on in another broadcast, I'm going to show you how to set up a broadcast that gets butts in the seats for your events. Uh, that's going to be super important. Uh, whether you're doing online events or off, you can add those, you can add different sequences. I personally have two sequences right now. I have the seven day free mini course that you can take if you don't know anything about bots and you want to get started building your knowledge about that. That's checkoutmybot.com. I also have the sequence for people who just want to jump in there and get their feet wet. And that's at startyourbot.com. So I have different ways to enter into the bot, depending on what you want to do. If you just want to get information, there's totally a way to get in. If you want to start on a whole challenge scenario with me, yes, that is available too. startyourbot.com. So uh, developing those things, that's in that four hour chunk though. And it's a chunk that I, I block out my calendar. I don't do anything else during that time. That is time for me developing and growing the community in my bot. So if you're using it as a communication hub, if it's communication central with your potentials and your clients or your team members, if you're in direct sales or anything like that, if it's going to be a communication hub, you need that four hour shot. And again, as long as it's regular, I don't care how often you do it, but it needs to be regular. It needs to be scheduled. It needs to be blocked off in your calendar so that you can be free to build that next sequence. That's going to draw people in, draw people into your circle and make them love you. Uh, so, uh, so that's it. That's what I've got for you today. Care and feeding of a bot. 20 minutes a day, four hours. And if you want something that is robust and brings a lot of clients in, uh, that's going to be a four hour shot on a regular basis. Uh, so darlings, uh, my friends, happy botting out there. Thanks for watching today. I absolutely love doing these little tidbits coming up, uh, on Thursday. I'm also going to have a show about getting butts in those seats. So if you're a live streamer, uh, if you're a person who has a lot of events going on online or off, please do join me on the Black Belt Bots page on Facebook. Uh, that's where the live stream will be. And then I'll put up a video here on YouTube as well. If you're interested in looking at some of the different things that I have available, go to blackbeltbots.com slash shop. Uh, and there you'll find all of my templates, all of my classes, all of the things that I have on offer to get you started with bots. And uh, my friend, until I see you again, I will see you in a bot.